Bartender, waiter, manager. And I've been here for eight and a half years. Um, and I enjoy it. You get what's your busiest times of the year here? The busiest times of the year is the races, the Baja 1000, the 500, and the 250. And beside that, it's summertime. So when is the next big race coming? It's coming up this November. This so November. that's, that's going to be Baja you. 1000. And that's going to be a fun time to be here. That's actually that's the busiest two weeks of the whole year. Okay. And you, the first time I met you, I was like, why do you speak such good English? But you lived in the United States for many years. I've lived in the United States for 29 years. And you have family there. I have uh, two kids over there. I have an 18-year-old girl and a 12-year-old boy. And you're down here now. And I'm down here. How do you like Ensenada? I like, actually, I like Ensenada a lot. I was, when I first came down to Baja, I was going to go all the way to Mazatlan, but I kind of didn't want to go that far away from the family, so I decided to stay here to try it out, and I like it, so I stayed here. <laughs> do they get to come down and visit you? My family does, my kids, no, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Do you get to go to visit them? Uh, that's what I'm working on right now. There's Pretty some, soon. There's some difficulties with that. Yeah. Overall, Ensenada is a pretty good place to live. Exactly. We have a cruise ship port here. It's not all of what the news says because the news blows it out of proportion big time. I've lived here eight and a half years and I have not seen nothing out of the out of the ordinary that doesn't happen in LA or San Francisco, Oakland. You know, it's you have your normal crimes of a big city and that's it. Nothing out of the ordinary. What are your best dishes here? My best dishes are the, we're famous for the big XL burrito, 16 inches, and about so big. Uh -huh. And it's one of the biggest burritos in Boston. All right. When you guys are open 24 hours. 24 hours, seven days a week. We're only closed on New Year's and Christmas, but only if it lands on a weekday. Because okay. if it lands on a weekend, we're open. All right. Thank you so much. Northern part of Idaho. Mm -hmm. I was raised in uh, Nampa, Idaho, and I have family there. I've been uh, over. I've been back in Mexico for about eight years now, going on nine. And my mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother all live in Idaho, and I'm back here, Mexico. Oh my goodness! So you're used to the trees and the and, and the beautiful scenery we have with the. Uh, they're Canyon County. Mm -hmm. They're great mountains, uh, good skiing resorts. They have beautiful uh, uh, lake reservations. Got an all, uh, they all 
They were all my favorite and I miss them all. Mm. Especially my family and I have one eight year old still over there in uh, Boise, Idaho, which is the capital. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was raised, I was all raised in the United States, just uh, recently came back to, to Mexico. Tuesdays and Saturdays mm -hmm. from uh, 8 in the morning to 5 o'clock. Do you think that the bad press in the United States has hurt business down here? Uh-huh. This is a nice town yes. to live in, but people have sort of a weird image. Yeah, they're, they're kind of scared because of uh, what the news says and stuff, but I mean, here we don't get none of that. Over here it's really calm. It is very, very quiet here and nice. biggest wine wine companies around here so we have wine festivals and we have uh, what is our carnaval which is every year mm -hmm. and it's just a big carnival and we have parades and stuff like that amusement And you have good breakfast here. Wonderful breakfast. Fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh yes. And I just had this flan with chocolate cake that was really good. Oh yes. Yeah, we got really good desserts here too. It, it was very good. So it's been nice talking to you one. And, and um, I'm going to come and see you again soon. Okay. Hopefully see everybody soon.